Hi, how's it going? This is Eddie Cruz for Trucking Master CDL Training. I'm going to do a quick video on downshifting. Uh, this is something that most of my students are having trouble with. So if you're having problems downshifting, I'm going to show you a way to get it perfectly every single time. All right. Now again, this is for downshifting. Now they work, this works for a 10 speed, 8 speed, 18 speed. doesn't make a difference what speed you got going on, what transmission you got going on. Um, I'm going to flip the camera around. Um, this one is an A speed right there. It's an A speed. All right. So now I'm going to show you a downshift, the proper way of doing it. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and adjust my seat. Now I'm not going to start the truck running. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to downshift properly. All right. You have to use the RPMs. That's one thing that you guys never do as a new driver. You can't just focus on the distance and just lock into the distance. You have to work with the RPMs. You have to work with them, okay? Now, the proper way of downshifting is the RPMs, they have to be at 1,000 RPMs, all right? Now, for upshifting, it's about 1,500 RPMs, about here, 1,400 RPMs here. But when you're downshifting, the RPMs, they have to be within 1,000 to 900 RPMs. So basically, so how do you do that? You just basically let go of the fuel. The only thing keeping that vehicle running is that fuel. You're building all the energy and everything that's producing the force back there to push this vehicle forward. So by removing your foot from the fuel, the RPMs will drop. And as it's dropping and the vehicle's slowing down, then when it reaches 1,000 RPMs, then you can do a proper downshift. But if you just focus on the distance and not paying attention to the RPMs, there's no way you're going to be able to put the vehicle at the speed that you need to match that low gear. Because remember, the speed and the gear has got to match. That's the reason why most people, most new drivers, they actually get the upshifting better because you start in first gear, you give it fuel, you make the vehicle go faster, and then you give it to second gear, and so on and so on. But the opposite is what you do for downshifting. But as a new driver, you're not aware of that. As a car, in a car, 4,000 pounds, 5,000 pounds, you can actually use the transmission to slow the vehicle down by, by going downshifting or putting neutral. But when you're dealing with an 80,000 pound vehicle, 50,000 pound vehicle, it doesn't work the same way. So by slowing the vehicle down, by removing your foot away from the fuel or slowing down yourself with the brake, allowing the RPMs to drop at 1,000 RPMs, you can do a proper downshifting. But as a new driver, you have to be able to be aware that the vehicle has to slow down first before you can put it in that low gear. New drivers, they're not doing that. They go from fifth to fourth, but the vehicle is increasing speed because the vehicle is in neutral while it's in neutral. So if you have a little incline, the vehicle's going to pick up speed, and there's no way you're going to put that thing in fourth gear while the vehicle picks up speed. That defeats the whole purpose of, of downshift properly. All right. So again, you're going to use the RPMs. You're going to use the RPMs right here, all right, to dictate when to shift. If you work with the vehicle, if you work with it, it doesn't make a difference if you're a new driver or not. It doesn't make a difference. Right here, this is the way the vehicle was designed to work. So a thousand RPMs to downshift, and about fourteen to fifteen hundred to upshift. That's it. If you use the RPMs every time you shift, from Anyway, from higher gear, low gear, you have to be conscious aware of what, what, where's the RPMs. If you do that, your downshift would be perfect. Like I said, it could, it could be a 6-speed, 8-speed, 9-speed, 10-speed, it doesn't make a difference. As long as you're aware of where the RPMs are before you upshift or downshift, you will get it every single time perfect. Because this is what you're supposed to be working with as a new driver. Eventually, you'll start hearing the noise and you'll start connecting the noise with the RPMs. But at the beginning, as a new driver, you have to be aware of where exactly your RPMs are. All right? I hope this helps you a lot. And I'm telling you, when, we, when, when I give you something that's going to help you, whether using the mirrors, backing up, downshifting, upshifting, it doesn't make a difference. I'm not giving you a tip or advice. I'm giving you a direction of how it should be done. All right? So just understand that. If you apply what I'm giving you, I'm telling you, don't deviate from it. Play back the video, back and forth. Once you apply what I'm giving you, it doesn't make a difference where you are. It will happen the same way it happens to me with 20 years of experience. All right? So remember, downshift. Use the RPMs. This RPM has to be exactly where it is right now. That's 800, 900, 1,000. Any higher than that, and the, and the gear is not going to go in because the vehicle is way too fast. All right, so I hope this helped you. This is Eddie Cruz for Trucking Masters. I'll see you guys around. If you guys want me to do a video on a specific topic, write it in the comment below. And again, like always, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys around. All right, let me know if you guys need a video, and I'll do it for you happily. All right, this is the way you downshift properly. All right, I'll see you guys around. Drive safely.